hey what's up guys it's Apollo Ochia here and welcome back to my channel today I'm back with a new movie the name of this movie is what if Naruto had holo kurama and yeah guys it is an unscripted movie as well now before continuing this shout out is due where it is due so shout out to my boy Chris Starkweather for suggesting me this idea now aside from that if you haven't then please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and aside from that I also have a vlogging channel if you are interested you can go and visit it i'll you know put a link in the description so aside from that enough of my yip yapping let's get to the main topic of our story and yeah let's begin with our today's story and roll the intro <laughs> our story begins in konoha gakuren sato five years after the qb attack as we go inside the village to see that village was quite happy as the civilians were moving along on its way and were chatting in general and laughing on about while doing their jobs as the shinobis were going in and out of the main gates of the village going to their missions and coming back from long-term missions as well and greeting each other while doing so as the anbus were seen moving from the shadows as now we go towards different clans to see that they were teaching their kids their traditional ways as well as jutsus well now we go towards the last clan house the uzumaki namikaze house to see that in the backyard a red-headed woman was training two kids with red hair and yellow streaks with purple eyes as she said now menma mito watch this carefully this is how you use adamantium chakra chains as she was teaching them about their kakagenkai the adamantium chains that are strong enough to even withhold a biju in its place as she was quite proud of it because she has done so and demonstrated the whole Konoha at one point as well. So did her ancestors, such as Mito Uzumaki. But that wasn't the topic of the day. As we see them being washed at from their own house on the upper portion by two cold blue eyes. As he then put it the curtain, as he sighed and went back what he was doing why don't you go down kid you have been working on the scroll for quite a long time I wish I could Kurama but I don't want to as the said figure that the kid was talking to was nobody because the voice that he was talking to was in his head a fox or more like a part of a fox a different one you see how he was created was quite a funny story actually you see, five years ago, there was an attack on this village. This happy place was attacked and almost literally was destroyed back in the day by the strongest Piju nonetheless, Kyubi no Yoko. And Kushina at the time was the Jinchuriki. Since she was about to give birth, a female Jinchuriki was found out that her seal was at the most weakened state when she was about to give birth. And Kyubi, who was the embodiment of evil, thought it was the necessary time that it needed to get away from her Jinchuriki as well as from humans. So she tried to escape, yes, she. And her plan didn't work out because an accursed Uchiha again appeared, a master one this time, but the Sharingan, she couldn't mistake it for any other. It was Madras, as she has told Naruto now. But before that, we hear what was going on then. As during that time, Minato's Namikaze did something stupid, or genius, you can say. He split it, a part of Kyuubi's soul, as well as a part of its chakra, into his wife to keep it safe, while major portions of the chakra as well as soul went to the older siblings, Menma and Mito. And a part of the chakra was then went towards Naruto, who was also there with them. He just brought him there, thinking that he was protecting all of his children. He, in his eyes, only used Menma and Mito, who later on were regarded as the heroes and saviors of whole village, all thanks to their parents glorifying them. As for Naruto, he was just a normal child, the black sheep of the family, as many would have called him. But in reality, a whole new entity was created, from Kurama being ripped apart in so many pieces, thanks to Minato no Mikaze. A hollow Kurama. Kurama that holded more power. Unimaginable because there was no limiter on him like a Biji would have. 
some says he's more stronger or at least he claims to say this that some says that he mo he's more stronger than the ten tails which in Naruto's eyes was a myth until he revealed that there's more more to them than meets the eye as now Naruto knew that the beaches were a part of something big that was called the ten tails and Naruto as we go to the present was currently working on a scroll that would allow Kurama and him to go into different planes to train because his parents were busy and Naruto didn't want it to hinder their training his siblings. You wanna know why? Well it has another story. Because Naruto Uzumaki at the age of 3 innocently tried to convince his parents that he should train but they were mad at him because of his continuance of presence there as well as they called his presence there a distraction and annoyance. So. After that, he promised himself that he will never ask help from his parents in any regarding of such matters. So, here he was, helping himself out. Well, more like grabbing some scrolls from his parents' libraries to help himself out. But it was a fair game, not like they were going to know, right? As after some time, we see that Naruto was done, finished with his scroll. As he then said, all done now. Now I can go and eat lunch. As Naruto went downstairs, he was greeted by the sight of his parents, both of them there. His father has arrived from his kage work as well, and his siblings were just chatting amongst each other as he grabbed his portion of the food and excused himself as he was about to go upstairs. He was halted by a voice, which even, well, shocked him as it was his father. Naruto, why are you not sitting here with us? You usually do. Uh, oh, uh, I just wanna, you know, finish a book that I was reading, so yeah, I'll be up in my room. As Kushina was quite surprised by this as well. But Naruto, don't you usually sit here with us with a book as well? Oh crap, I usually do that. Um, well, I want to read it while watching the garden, so yeah, the view up there is quite nice, so I'll be going there. Bye, as Naruto dashed upstairs. As his parents were quite shocked by this, they weren't sure why Naruto wasn't sitting with them but it bugged them for some reason as Manman Mito then said why did he went away he usually sits here with us right nah -uh, Mito said what do you mean no Mito well Kachan as long as I remember Naruto has never sat with us I think it was maybe two years ago yeah if my memory serves correct that he stopped I noticed him a few times missing here on different occasions such as our birthdays what what do you mean I could have sworn I gave him I gave him as Minato stopped he was now in deep thought what did he give Naruto as a present of the last birthday as Kushina looked at him as he looked towards Kushina Kushina what did we give Naruto on his last birthday you did you didn't give him anything come on Mito quit it I'm sure that I shared my toys with Naruto yeah, I did. I remember now. As both of the parents, before they could relax, Mito then said, No, you didn't. That was when he when he was three. When we were three, Menma, Nissan, as Menma was now shocked as well. They were going to be turned six this year, and their sibling was only a few minutes younger than them, meaning that their twin was being left out for the past three years. As Kushina and Minato were also quite shocked about this. Then how did Naruto live by himself for three years? This was quite shocking by them. They have been neglecting him. And that is when it hit it Kushina. Three years ago, at the age of three, Naruto arriving to her in the backyard as she was trying to teach the kids back then when they were, well, less interested into this stuff. As she even yelled at Naruto for for well distracting her as well as saying that he was an annoyance to send him off as she could see the retrieving form of Naruto with tears and a curving lip but at the time she thought that she was giving him a fair punishment but now when she looked back she was being a pre pretty harsh idiot of a parent back then so it was time to make up she began to work on something it was her special ramen that she usually cooked for Menma and Mito since she didn't remember what Naruto liked, she, well, thought that she, he would also like ramen. While she was finished making ramen, Minato was thinking of making up to his son as well, as was 
Manma because he wanted to make up with his little brother. He was quite surprised that he has left him out for so long and didn't even notice. As that is when his own BG spoke to him. Kid, be wary of your brother. What do you mean, Fox? Since the Biju of his siblings and them didn't have any much of good connection, they usually talk like this to each other. Well, I think that he holds something more than meets the eye. I sensed myself in him. It's because a part of yourself was sealed inside of him as well, you idiot. No, you idiot, it didn't happen. Ask your father. Um, Tojan, Menma asked out of curiosity after remaining a little bit of quiet. As Minato out of his thoughts looked at his son. What is it, son? Did Naruto had um, a part of QB sealed inside of him? Right? Like us? No. As far as I remember, no. I split it QB into three parts. One was going to your mother. Two were going to you. Then why does the fox say that it has sensed something like itself inside Naruto, yet quite different, quite strong? And... It didn't have any feeling to it. It's quite eerie. As then QB suddenly took over Mito. Whatever that is. I'm scared of that, Minato. You should go and check on your boy. What have you done to Mito? I am here to warn you. Kushina. I won't hurt her. I promise. But go and check on your son. See if he holds something inside of him. I sense something. Sense something stronger. And yet, like me. Like looking at my own reflection which is more stronger. It is terrifying. Way too much. As unknown to them, Naruto, because of his sensitive hearing, heard this. Uh oh, Grandma, they're on to us. What now? <sighs> I guess we have to test our seal now. The testing phase is over, kid. Alright then. As Naruto then heard footsteps as they were getting quicker. As Naruto finished the hand seals. Teleportation or Jutsu. Space time! As Naruto disappeared instantly, as the scroll was then burned into ashes. No, no, no! See, I've told you. There was something wrong with that boy. I could sense him staring at you from afar, but with cold eyes. They weren't filled with affection. He hated us? Mito said, as she was on the verge of crying. As Cupid then said, No, he didn't hate it, any one of you. That is what I'm... Scared off, he holds coldness in his eyes. No hatred, no emotions at all, which is more dangerous than hatred. As Kushina and Minato at the times didn't grasp those words. But one thing was for sure, Naruto has gone and he held something more sinister. They were not sure, but they had to find Naruto for the answers. And that is the biggest question now, where did Naruto go? As for Naruto, we go to him now. He found himself in an abyss of different realities in which he saw himself in different scenarios. In some, he was demolishing the village. In some, he was against Konoha. In some, he killed his own parents. And in some, he was the one who was getting killed and revived. What is this? Welcome to the Hollow Void, kid. What do you mean, Kurama? You see, kid, I am not a normal fox anymore. I was connected to Hollow. A part of my soul was ripped out of my own and gave me a new consciousness, a new identity as a whole. I call myself the Holo Kurama, and you are my Jinchuriki Naruto. And that is why I brought you here, to train you, to teach you, as the fox then turned into her human form. Why are you turning into your human form? <laughs> as she then turned into a six-year-old kid like Naruto. Well, silly, that is to make it easy for us to communicate. Is it too difficult for you? N no. But why did you brought me here? Well, for one thing only. So you can train. Train with the best of the best shinobis in different realities and scenario, Naruto. You can pretty much say your training begins here. As Naruto was quite shocked. And I'm gonna be here to overwatch this. So mean, you mean I'm on my own? Naruto said with a gulp as she chuckled, Of course, silly. You have to survive and train through rigorous training if you want to become strong, right? <sighs> I guess so, but won't you help me like I'm your Jinchuriki and all? Of course, silly goose, I will. 
only in life and death situations though. I guess it works both ways now. As after that, Naruto was sent into an algorithm of his own realities. Different perspectives, different scenarios, different outcomes, many things Naruto witnessed and have lived within mere moments. But those moments there in the time space were years back in the reality. As years begin to pass, as Naruto was going on and on and on, again and again and again and again, repeating and this time around saving as much as realities as he could, salvaging as much as he could. And in the end, after many years, he has aged and has learned how to be the best version of himself. As after his training was finished, he could use the void barian mode as well without kurama or naruto dying this time around he could remain in any form he wanted as long as he wanted but that wasn't all he himself could transform into now a fox like kurama which was all blonde with red eyes and slits but this fox was different it was ten tail fox and much huge and larger just like the ten tails he has witnessed but that monster was hideous but this form was quite similar to Kurama, but with ten tails as well. Unknown to him, Kurama or Void Kurama had found a perfect mate, and that was Naruto, her, jin, her own Jinchuriki. And let's just say, has imprinted him, and now she was on a mission to turn him into a Beiju of his own, a new identity, much more than a human, and Naruto was slowly becoming that. But she had one more thing and test for Naruto to do, and that was to go into his own reality from which he belonged to and relive the real life that was supposed to be his. As now we see both of them conversing, so you want me to go now to my own reality and relive my life? Yes, that is that simple Naruto. No. What do you mean, no? I said I'm not gonna relive it, but I can continue it. Hmm, okay, to be fair, I have put you through a lot of, you know, unfair circumstances so I guess I can agree with this one how much time has passed again I don't know maybe years maybe millennia we do not know Naruto this is void void of the time space what do you think how much time passes it doesn't matter hmm. that is something I'm afraid of but yeah it is quite cool when you think about it but regardless I have to go back as you said and I have to see what is going on there in the my my own reality as after that naruto and kurama were now out of the void into the reality once more as naruto has aged suddenly from his kid size to now 14 year old teenager naruto huh? i guess i have grown as he had now long hair since it was uncut because of staying in the void because it suddenly outgrew as did his clothes which were quite tight now and ripped apart as well so what I'm gonna do now? And where even am I? Well, you have to find that out yourself, Naruto. Remember you're back in your own world. That much I'm sure. And many things would have been changed now. I guess you're right. Oh boy. Facing my own family. <laughs> after living through many scenarios in which I saw them having regret after doing what they did or outright hating me until the dying end. And dying by my hand, it is quite hard to meet them. I know. And that is why I wanted to train you to control your emotions, Naruto. That is why I put you through unfair circumstances. To see how level-headed you are. And you have passed. Do not disappoint me. Of course I won't. You know me. I'm Naruto Uzumaki. Debayo. <laughs> Quite cliche. Well, this is my main catchphrase, you can say. I can hardly, you know, remember in which dimension I didn't say this. Hmm, that is true. Well, I'm wasting time here. I guess I gotta go now. As Naruto dashed, but he only took two steps as he was now standing outside of Konoha in the forest. Huh? What the hell happened? It seems that you have advanced by their levels way too much Naruto. Uh oh, this can't be good. I know it can't be. You have to control yourself. I'm literally just trying to dash and this happens. What do you think I should do? I should just, you know, slow walk? try as Naruto tried to slow walk as hard as he could and he started to walk normally what the hell is this 
it seems that you are moving at much faster rate than the time space here in this realm Naruto in your own reality <laughs> so I'm an anomaly now huh yeah pretty much I hate you I know you love me now let's just get going and meet your family as Naruto with his blinding speeds grabs some clothes from the shop that was in the street of vendors as after that he hid himself in an alleyway and dressed himself and as soon as he stepped out of the alleyway he was surrounded by the Anmos as well as Minato Naruto oh uh, I was about to go and meet you <laughs> where have you been Minato said as he took a step near him as the guards were now literally alerted waiting for Naruto to move in the wrong way so he could cleave their they could cleave their he hit his head off as Minato then pointed at them with angry glare he is my son we have to make sure that he is and not an imposter oh boy well Tojan I am your son and I'm back back for good hopefully Naruto where have you been Minato sat quite angry as he was fighting his tears as well as Naruto sighed oh man <sighs> Yeah, I swear to God, if I haven't watched after what I have done, saving my realities and my different selves, and saw their regret and crying after that until their dying breaths, I wouldn't have done this. Come here, Tochan. As Naruto brought him in, his old man to a hug, as Minato began to cry. I'm so sorry, Naruto. I... It's alright. Naruto said, rubbing his hand on his back. There, there. I'm back now. No need to worry or cry. Where's Kachan? She's with the team. They're sent on the land of waves. Oh, I guess I should go now. But you just said that you, you're back for good. To them. To help them out. What do you mean, Naruto? To help them out? Is something wrong there? The thing is that from where I am, it is usually common there that there is something wrong there and I need to be there. So I have to go, Tochan. It will only take some moments for me to come back okay I promise I will come back as Naruto then disappeared at blinding speed he only took 10 steps to arrive at the land of waves huh 10 steps and usually it would have taken me one or two days to get here quite impressive don't you think oh shut up you as the fox giggled as Naruto then arrived where the bridge should be ah there it is as if witnessed something and paused this didn't happen he remembered, or tried to remember through his memory, of the time he spent in each and every time space of what was going on. His mother was tied, and so was his sister, and his brother was knocked out and tied to a log with chakra suppression seals, as so was the demon of the mist, Zabuza, as well as Haku, and Gato was coming towards his mother. Naruto, even though, went through some dramatic events in the past from different realities from this woman that he called his mother but his mother wasn't that bad his real mother wasn't at least but she was you know a little bit mean but he was here to forgive her and move on and seeing this well boiled his blood that is if he hadn't left as in a single step he arrived there as he stood behind Gato as Gato then turned towards him what are you all standing here for who is this bastard kill him as at that moment, their head rolled to the ground, as there was nothing more than the spray of blood everywhere. It looked like the blood was raining from the sky, and it covered all of their bodies as Naruto cold eyes then bore into him. You just made the biggest mistake. Biggest mistake even from your alternative realities, Gato. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? As Naruto then moved his hand towards the midget's hand, both of them and literally yanked both of his arms out of his own body breaking the joints as well that was for thinking of doing that for having the very thought of doing that to my mother and my sister while i breathe here and naruto then saw the midget crawling away on his body and back with his feet as naruto grabbed his one leg and ripped it apart and then the second and now only thing that remained there was his body and head which was moving as the blood was seeping out oh no you're not allowed to die as an made a cube in his hand which began to rotate 
time space capsule as the said capsule now was around Gato where his body mended itself again and literally decomposed again and again and again and again his screams were heard throughout the village and they were blood curdling so much agonizing that even the victims felt sorry for him at one point and he was begging for that and at one point he stopped he couldn't feel any pain he was broken and that is when Nar disintegrated him into the molecules at the time capsule disappeared Everyone looked towards him, covered in blood, as his cold eyes bore into each and every one of the person's heads. His mother was shocked and scared, and everyone was as well as Naruto side. With a single snap of his finger, everything was cleaned, and there was not a single drop of blood there. As he began to move towards them to free them, as now they were hurled up in one corner, as they looked towards Naruto, you don't need to be afraid of your own son, Kajan. I'm back. Naruto? As Menma and Mito were quite shocked and happy at the same time, but one person was even more amazed and shocked and scared, and that was Sasuke Uchiha. How is that possible? To wield such a st strong and scary power? He he didn't even broke sweat. When did he arrive? When did he did all of this? Who even is he? Does Menma and Mito know him? And how come I never met him? I have so many questions. I will ans get my answers. I have to wait, I guess. As they all dashed towards him and hugged him, as they cried, as Naruto hugged them back. I know that you're enjoying this moment way too much, showing off a little bit of your power. I wasn't showing off. That was... Well, for real, I guess. I don't know what happened to me. My blood was just boiling. Seeing my mother as well as my sister like this. At the verge of being, I know, I know you don't have to talk about that, as Naruto was be beginning to feel agitated again and was thinking of bringing that old man back if he could from another time space and kill him brutally. I guess he had to go on a Gato hunting in different dimensions now. Poor Gato, even in his death, his counterparts will suffer from Naruto's wrath because of what he tried to imagine to do. As after that, the whole village was happy, and some time later, the bridge was completed and he returned back with his family. Oh shoot, Naruto said as they were at the gates. What happened, Naruto? Mito asked. Um, Mason, I said to father that I will return as soon as I help you guys out, but I remained there for three days. As soon as Naruto entered inside Konoha, his father dashed towards him. Naruto, where have you been? He's been with us, Minato. Ah, oh, I'm so happy that you're all fine. You said that there was a dire situation, you let her arrive right after Naruto left. Well, yeah, if he haven't left, we would have been, uh... What? Nothing. Nothing at all. That wouldn't happen. I promise you that much, though, John. I wouldn't let them. So, what now? Men must. What now is that you all are going to have Junin exams, and Naruto, I'm gonna hear about your performance that you, you know, displayed there from Kushina. By all means, I guess you can hear all you want. I'm gonna go home and relax in my room. As after that, Mito, Menma, as well as Kushina alongside Naruto left towards home as Minato himself went back to the Kage office. Kushina said that she wanted to relax for a bit and she later will give him the report after he returns. And Minato agreed. And now we have a time skip. Time skip to the next day. As the kids were resting, we go towards the Hokage office to see that Man Minato and Kushina were there. So, how was his performance? As Kushina began to sigh and reveal what has happened and what was about to happen, as Minato was at first shocked, angry, and then quite amazed by Naruto's skill and downright afraid of what he has done. Did he fell? No. It was as the fox said, he didn't have any emotions. But he was showing us emotions, Kushina. You witnessed it yourself, right? That I did, but at that time, Minato, even I was scared as she was on the verge of crying again and shaking as Minato got up and hugged her. As suddenly a voice was heard. Tochan, Kachan, you don't need to cry anymore. I'm here, and I'm here to stay and protect you and Menma Nisan and Mito Nisan. Whoever tries to harm you will suffer worse fate than this. 
as Minato and Kushina were quite shocked to see that their son was standing there with cold blue eyes again as he looked at them. Naruto, what happened to you, son? Minato asked. Where did you go? I thought you would be happy to see me. We are. But you weren't like this. <laughs> Let's face it, Tojan. You, for the past three years, never focused on me and never really knew who or how I was. And I guess I was quite angry about that at the time when you called me a nuisance when I was only trying to be included in your activities. I'm sorry, son. I apologized and I'm willing to do anything. I, I promise. I, I will make... It's enough, Tojan. I forgive you. You see, what happened really was that I went in your library after that to help myself to train to prove to you all that I'm better than them, as any kid would at the time. So, what I found out was that I had a new entity within me, as the fox told you before my departure. You, you knew? Yeah. I knew that your fox told you about mine. It is called a hollow version of it, which is much more stronger. Tell him that it is more stronger than the ten tails, and so am I now because it brought me to void, void time space realm in which many alternative realities of us were, many possibilities, unlimited, limitless, and I lived through many, many of them over and over again, salvaging and helping out as much as I could. The rest, the rest was destroyed though. But in the end I was able to become Something much more than just a human, as Naruto's hand transformed into a fox with covered in fur, which was quite golden. As not ten tails now appeared behind him, with fox ears rising from his head. As you guys can see, I am much more than that now. I myself, you can say, am a Biju. As both of them were quite shocked by this. So this hollow entity within you has granted you these powers? More or less, but yeah, it helped me achieve these powers. And I, living through many realities, missed my own. And I guess I missed you guys, so I came back. After finding out that I don't have anything to prove to you. And once you find out that what you did, you were quite, well, you know, sad about that. And guilty as well. And that was more than enough for me. So I came back. Even though it took some time, I did. I'm happy that you're safe, son. But why are you telling us this? Shouldn't it be kept a secret? There must be spies. That is something that I want those spies to know. I have lived through many realities. I have seen what their demise was. Within or without Konoha. I will make sure that they suffer the same fate as they did in their different realities. And for those who have suffered unjustly, like I did in the other realities, I will save them again. What are you talking about, Naruto? The Uchihas. I know that they are being blamed because of the QB attack still, and there is a whole debate going on in every council meeting. And it is Danzo, as well as the council heads, as well as some of the civilian heads, power figures who are trying to push the Uchihas to give proof. And the Uchihas being the Uchihas they are, taking it as a threat to, to their position and power. So I want to go and talk to Fugaku Uchiha first. Yeah, I guess that is true. As after that, Naruto then said, Well, I'll be off now. As Naruto then disappeared. As Minato and Kushina were quite shocked. What happened here, Minato? What is Naruto on about? Fox. As the fox within Kushina then spoke, What the kid has said, It's true. I could feel it, Kushina. That being has much more power than before. And so does Naruto. Even he is more powerful than me. That is something to be very afraid of. And yet, there is no hostility from them. Which is scary in its own right, Kushina. Be wary of them. We don't need to be wary of them. Still, be cautious at least. One wrong move and he might end the whole shinobi world alongside us. He said so himself that he destroyed those who weren't salvageable. And he is here to think that, or determine that, if we are salvageable or not. Think about it, Krishna, think. He has lived through different realities, different lives, different scenarios, which he himself said, which are limitless. And I am afraid of that. A person that has knowledge about what was going to happen and what is going to happen. 
is scary and in different realities as well he can make a guess if things change slightly because he has already lived through that as Kushina gulped because what the fox was telling him was correct as she began to tell what the QB and her conversation was to Minato and Minato then grasped the reality if somebody take their son off wrongly there could be a destruction a huge amount of destruction or in general their reality might be erased as well and they had to be cautious with Naruto he had to inform the council of this to hide about the fact that Naruto is quite powerful as well as to be cautious around him as well which will not blend or work together in general but he had to try somehow to convince them but as Naruto has suspected Danza's goon has heard this and has gone towards the elders to tell them what he was and what he has been through and he knew what their motives are as he arrived at the Uchiha estate as Naruto was brought there he, ma, he, you wanted to talk to me Fugaku said as he was well tongue slipping his own his own words because this man claimed to be or kid claimed to know what their plan was and how it was going to fail and if he reveals this to Konoha it might be well a civil war within and the Uchihas might lose this time around and even be executed for treason and labeled as traitors as Madara was you are being played by Fugaku Uchiha by the elders they are pushing your buttons and you are walking right in your in their trap that they're setting for you alongside the Uchiha clan what are you talking about you don't know anything <laughs> trust me I am the least person that you want to say this Fugaku I have been through time and space. I have seen multiple realities. Multiple times a Jia fall to nothing more than a mere kid who is your son. As Fugaku after hearing his words that his clan reduced to only one person being his son Sasuke was quite shocked. Who killed our clan? Your son Itachi Uchiha. Bullshit! Itachi wouldn't do this. Do you think? Itachi is beginning to rebel and so is his friend Shisui Uchiha. But both of them have a plan. They are working with my father to bring the peace between you and the clan, all thanks to his mangekyo, Koto Matsukami, and Danzo is aware of that. And he wants that power to make other wills his, and he wants other Sharingans as well, because now he knows the true potential of it, and he wants to achieve immortality through it, as well as the power of the Sharingan. So, we're stopping him from getting that obviously you guys so he pinned the blame of the Uchiha massacre on you so after doing so he is pushing your buttons making you enraged so you and your clan can distance yourself and after that he can bring you into the trap th he wanted to bring you in and boom when the time hits right he will kill you all and extract your eyes I will not let this happen he will pay for this of course he will he is a common enemy here so I am here to give you a purpose and a mission who are you two as Naruto's eyes they were cold and his demeanor changed into seriousness I am speaking for Gaku do not interrupt me again or I will leave and I swear that whatever happens happens to you and your clan because of your foolishness as after that Fugaku remained quiet and gulped because in that moment he sensed something more sinister something more big but that moment was gone now okay you see that wasn't so hard now now as I was saying Danzo Shimura is to be dealt by me I know he knows about about my powers as well as my existence and he knows who I truly am as Naruto said begin to get up as did Fugaku but you didn't reveal to me how will this situation end and what is the solution I am that is not to set as he disappeared as he arrived there you all don't have to do anything just focus on what you are doing your duties and satisfy your clan with this much knowledge only as after that Fukaku did as he was told and prayed for the best as Naruto now arrived at the base Ah, so you know about me coming here next, don't you? We were waiting for you, Naruto, since you left a message. Didi, even you are here. I'm quite surprised that you are. 
So this is what you call me in different realms? Yes. But I believe that some of like your other versions, you too might be corrupted. Hmm. That is something that I might have to check. <laughs> Dao Chihas are a trouble kid and they need to go. Danzo is right. As Naruto then disappeared and arrived behind Hiruzen's back. As Hiruzen tried to turn but he couldn't. As Naruto ripped out a seal. As Hiruzen paused for a bit. As he looked down at his hands. What, what happened? What happened to me? V where am I? As he began to remember what kind of crimes he have committed. Oh no. My god, what have I done? Naruto? Is that... Is that you? Ah, finally. How cheap of you, Danzo. To do this to your own Kage. This could be punishable by that. Who would trust you two? Who would trust the two of us? <laughs> Obviously, my father. That is, if you are allowed to leave here alive. Anbu! As nothing happened, as Naruto smirked. Anbu! Said... Danzo, as he began to scream, Oh, calm down, Danzo. Nobody's going to come here. As you imagine your worst fears, your Anbu is killed already. I have ripped apart every one of them bastards. Except for Saito. What, what do you mean? Very Sai then. As Naruto's clone brought him out, as Sai was standing next to him, as he was looking at Danzo with rage. You killed my brother. As Danzo's eyes widened. Wait, what? You're, you're lying. I, I have seen this, Danzo. I have seen everything. <laughs> Isn't it quite surprising? The weapon that you brought in. The very tool that you rose to be your weapon is now turned and pointed towards your own neck to harm you, Danzo. This is what it feels like to be betrayed. This is what you are about to do to the Uchiha clan. You can come out now, Itachi. He's all yours. Yours as well, Shisui. As both of the Uchiha's jumped down in their Anbu attire. Go out as Itachi, as you did all your clan on him. As Naruto then created a cube. Imprisonment. As the whole room was imprisoned. As Danza couldn't get out. As Naruto made a cell now. Set inside that cell and he will be all yours. Whenever he be, be killed, he will be revived again. As the other two elders were held in a cell as well. As they watched, Danzo die again and again and suffer again and again. As in the end, he was nothing more than a lifeless corpse that Naruto disintegrated. As he turned towards them as they were on their knees, shaking and begging to him. This was not a kid in front of them. This was something very much more. And even Hiruzen looked at his hands saw them shaking. What is this? Ah, oh, calm down, JT. I won't harm you. You are being corrupted by your own friends. Don't you want your revenge? No, Naruto. I, I don't. I think this is more than enough. And they need to pay for their crimes in the eyes of the people that trusted them blindly. I guess you're right. Danzo is dead now. I will not bring him back. But as for you two, as Naruto snapped his finger, as their legs and arms twisted and curled as snapping sounds were heard, as they screamed in agony, this is more than enough from a punishment from me, for screwing me over and over again in different timelines. <laughs> as with a single snap, everything disappeared as their corpses, or more like their bodies were now there, like a potato. As the Anbus arrived and picked them up and brought them to the prison cell. As Hiruzen, too, was about to be brought as Naruto halted them, since they were brought here by Tachi as well. He was innocent, being used and corrupted by the seal. I see. I apologize, Okage-sama. I thought that something was off. The man that apologized was none other than the previous Anbu Commander Dragon, who has, well, been reduced to such an Anbu state by corrupted Hiruzen himself. I'm sorry, Dragon, that this happened. I'm no longer Dragon, Okage-sama, but I'm happy to have you back. Who is the new dragon? There was no dragon post. It was demolished by your order. <sighs> My memories are still hazy after that seal was implanted on me. We were celebrating, and for the first time, I let myself feel vulnerable in front of them. And this happens. <sighs> Makes you wonder that you always have to stay alert and on your toes, even with the people that you know. That is correct, Titi. That is certainly correct. 
and the tuning exams are nearing in as well as Dakotsky. Tell Jiraiya that I will be meeting him next. I need to meet him. But why Nardo? I have something to do. As after that, time skip. As Iruzen and Minato talked and contacted Jiraiya, as Jiraiya picked up a location, as he was waiting there, as Naruto arrived there. Been waiting long? N no, I just... <laughs> That's something cliche, Jiraiya, that you say on a date. Oi, stop pulling my leg, kid. Now, tell me, what do you want to talk about? I'm a busy man, busy writing your porn? <laughs> well, the thing is that, Jiraiya, you can do whatever you want, but I'm here for one thing, Akatsuki. As Jiraiya was shocked, and then his demeanor changed for seriousness. What do you want to know, kid? And why do you want to know? I want to end them. What do you mean end them? They are not a threat, but they're something that should be looked into. They are a threat. They are after the Bijus, which are held by my siblings, and which is something that I cannot allow. Hmm. You are correct, though. They had, well, relations with Bijus, and they have been keeping eye on Jinchurikis for some time. And this makes sense now, but what if your theory is wrong? <laughs> theory. I guess you can say my theories are more than meets the eye, and they are 100% correct. Now, tell me what you know about them, and where is their base in this time plane? You see, the Kartsky, the thing with them was, each and every dimension had different place for them, and sometimes they were in Konoha, sometimes they were in different villages as in general. They're in Amegakure. Oh, Amiha? Hmm. That makes it 50% army. Told you, army is the main base of those people. Just wanted to confirm though. Not, no need to get mad. As the void Kurama chuckled, as she then went back to sleep in her fog state. <laughs> ah, women. As after that, he looked towards Jiraiya. Um, were you? No. Go and train my siblings and protect them. I have a meeting with Akatsuki. A starter then disappeared and arrived in Akatsuki base. Hello. As the whole Akatsuki members were there, except for Itachi who was still in Konoha, as Naruto literally began to just thrash them and pummel them to the ground, as they were all beaten and bruised within seconds, as Naruto now was bending down, making contact face to face with the mask person whose mask cracked and fell down. Don't try to pick it up, Obito. I already know it is you. What? How? How do you? <laughs> it's simple. Because I have lived through this over and over again. And you know what? I wanted to try this once, but even in those battles, I was always serious. But this time around, you're nothing more than a pathetic joke that is simping over a girl who is dead for so long. She was killed. I know she was. But tell me honestly, is this something that she would have wanted? She would have wanted peace. Something that I'm working for. Not the killer of hers who is walking amongst and taking pity from others that he accidentally killed her. Actually, he did. How do you know? He's trying to. Shut up, Zetsu. I'll deal with you later. As Naruto put him in the cage using his cube, the void cube, as Naruto brought him into the void. See this? This is the time space void, Obito. Look into each and every different voids. As in more than 90% of the versions that he witnessed within those times, then was Rin dying. You see, it is not in your fate to be with her, and there is no peace, as you see. 90% of the time, there is betrayal waiting for you. 10% of the time, you find out and you avenge yourself and Madara, as well as Rin, for being betrayed. So choose now, Obito. What are you going to do? Stand with the 12% or? Go towards the 90%. I don't get it. Why the 12%? The 2% was salvaged. There is more. Each and every second passes. More branches root out. And new realities are formed. It is like a playground for me. I can go in each and every one. Like a simulation and load it. And in the matrix I play. You, you're basically like a... No, I'm not. <laughs> Neither do I want to claim to be one. I'm just a person who enjoys this and have the, well, honor of doing this and becoming powerful. But that is not the point. The reason I brought you here is because I wanted you to see this and make sure I know where you stand. I stand with you. 
Now I know what I was doing was fruitless. No, Obito, you weren't. But your methods were fruitless, and you were being played by. As after arriving there, Naruto literally with his hand snap started to decrease the cube size, and it decreased until it was only handheld in one hand, as Naruto crushed it, killing Zetsu in general. As Kaguya stood awake, and she found someone standing in front of her. It was a clone of Naruto. How are you even born? She said with horror filled voice because this was something that they were afraid of. This was something that she was much more afraid of than people having chakra. A void. A void user. They were said to be the end of the Otsuzukis. And now the previous since the previous void user was killed because of the Otsuzuki God battle with him, and both the fake god Otsuzuki as well as the void user died. The four remaining Otsuzuki escaped, and Kaguya came here while Ishiki, Momoshiki, and Kishiki remained away. But now there was a new one, and he was much more stronger than the previous one, with the void Biju himself. Being a Biju himself, as Naruto had now ten tails on display, as his eyes were red, as his hands turned into claws with golden fur. Listen to my words, Kaguya Otsuzuki. I know what my ancestor did, and I know what I am capable of doing, but I am willing to give you a chance. Leave Earth alone, or there will be hell to pay. But you are an abomination that we must fight. Then you are the first one to die at this abomination's hand. Destroy. As Naruto literally destroyed half side of the moon that was not displayed on the side of the Earth, and destroyed Kage or Suzuki until there nothing remained. As her karma began to appear on Naruto's hand, which she destroyed as well, as the karma seal was cracked from within. <laughs> what a pathetic use of your last resorts. As Hagenomo arrived there, who are you? And why did you do this? As his eyes watered, you're, you're the one who deserted the fate. I do desert fate, Hagenomo Suzuki. As Naruto said, as he arrived in front of him in an instant. But I'm not a deserter. I only defy fate. And I killed your mother because she was not having any other way out. I gave her a way out, but she was having none of it. So what's the point of then being here and trying to fight me? I'm gonna kill each and every one of the Otsuzukis because they're not redeemable. As Hagoromo then began to shake with rage, but he held within because he knew the outcome was nothing but futile fighting him as he disappeared too. You're on your own now. The elemental nation is in your hands. And good ones as well. As after that, he tracked down each and every one of the Akatsuki while he was helping out Obito as well as the elemental nations down there. And within mere moments, he was able to find them and destroy them as well. As he returned to his original self, as he was now inside a council meeting of Kage's, called the Kage Summit, as each and every one of the Kage was there. We are here to discuss about this abomination. Again, I'm not an abomination. You, you are pushing my buttons, Onigi. Literally, I have killed you in many, many, many timelines. Do you want the same thing to happen here? Do you want Eva to be destroyed and erased for good? From all the timelines, because this is the last one in which it remains. Aside from the another one, which I call the main timeline. What do you mean, main? That is nothing to, you should worry about. As Onigi gulped, knowing fully well that if he was destroyed in all the timelines except for one, he would be destroyed in this one as well, and he didn't want that to happen. As Onigi remained then quiet and grumbled, Now, I am back to my parents and with my family. Nothing much, nothing new here as any kid would want to be. I was on a training trip away from this world, you can say. Much more advanced, but yeah, I was away on a training trip. Now I came back and I just want to relax. But you are an abomination. You destroyed Orochimaru and Suna. Half forces because they tried to invade Konoha. No, they tried to lay their hands on my sister. Even a scratch on them and I would destroy half of the village. This is how it goes. You're like a tyrant. Same thing as you guys, isn't it? What do you mean? We're not like you. Oh, but the history... Backs to differ. You destroyed Uzushiro Gakure, remember? As well as many other villages, some clans, even from within your own villages, because they were getting way too much powerful and harder to control. Isn't that right, Oniki? 
or me as they all remained quiet because this was true so in reality who is a bigger monster and as you can say abomination here me or you guys so i rather shut my mouth and work towards a peace a new solution hard times require for hard options and this is the only option you guys have as after that they thought hard and strong and they agreed with naruto as Naruto after that watched the elemental mission grow by and advanced to the levels to such a degree that nobody could stop it. And since the Otsutsukis were dead, his brother, who was now the seventh Hokage, married to Hinata Yuga, was well enjoying life, and so was he, as he living with his parents and well his nephew and nieces were loved and happy. But he himself was planning to have kids soon because a certain fox was now beginning to bother him, and now he realized what her true plan was, to find the ultimate strongest mate who could protect her and her children, even from every force, even from the void itself. Because turns out Naruto had just defeated the void by doing all of this and has become the new void in itself. Huh, <laughs> talk about change and surprise, right? Well, Naruto was sure as hell was as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, today's story and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This is where I'm going to leave the story. So yeah, aside from that, this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!